another Polish Beer Friday here on Pro Beer TV, and uh, as you can see, we are at the Austrian Beer Challenge here in Baden, close to Vienna, and uh, we have judges from Poland, and they're not only judges, they fit very well to my Polish Beer Friday. With me is Marek Kaminski from uh, Brova Kingpin. Hi, Marek. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Martin. Marek, um, Brova Kingpin is one of the breweries that I first discovered when I came to Rotswaf, I think it was in... 2014, 15, so we are quite long on the market. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the history of uh, Brova Kingpin? Sure. Uh, we started 2014, so uh, we haven't been to Wrocław probably 14, so we might have met in 2015. Yeah. Uh, so we started 2014, uh, four of us, uh, four colleagues. Uh, in the meantime, like within those last eight years, the, uh, the owners changed quite a lot, so I'm the only one left from the original lineup, and I'm doing this with my wife now. So That's a family business now. That's a family business now for the last four years. So almost half of the time we are operating, it's been a family business. And uh, what kind of beers uh, does uh, Brova Kingpin brew? I remember you had really strong IPAs, but are you also open to, to classic styles or sour beer, for example? Yeah, we got. Uh, I would say we got four basic lines of beers. Uh, one of them is the the new wave hoppy stuff, um, as you mentioned, pale ales, hoppy pale ales, IPAs, double IPAs, and we do that a lot because this is what craft beer market is all about. I think everywhere, yeah. including sure. Poland. So, so um, and those beers recently for the last two years been uh, been canned. So can as a packaging is is coming back quite strong in, in craft business. So. Uh, very colorful, nice labels. We get a lot of good feedback for the labels, so we like it a lot, and we brew a lot of them. So that would be the first line. The second line, um, we introduced a couple years ago, a classic beer lines. So we brew a Pils, um, a Weiss beer, a Baltic Porter, Golden A occasionally. So, so these are more um, hospitality sector oriented beers like restaurants, cafes, okay. and they run quite well, easygoing, classic styles. Uh, the third line would be what I especially like are um, like the beers, um, like saisons or sour beers that we introduced quite a recently or a couple years ago and um, I love saisons, I brew quite a lot of saisons, uh, I think um, I have an established reputation as a saison brewer in Poland and uh, and most of the saisons I brew are also for barrel aging. Okay. So uh, I do barrel age saisons in especially in wine barrels. Okay. So this is my specialty, this is what I like to do, this is what I'm very interested in. And um, I always try to source uh, wine bottles directly from winemakers. And I'm especially interested in the Central and Eastern Europe region okay. and terroir. So I have bottles from Polish, uh, Moravian, Hungarian, uh, uh, German uh, uh, winemakers. And I'm always... Uh, Always searching for more. <laughs> <laughs> but um, does Brova Kingpin, if, if one of our viewers um, is asking for a typical Brova Kingpin beer, is, is there uh, one beer that you would pick out and say, yeah, this is maybe the first beer we ever brewed and we stick with that one? Or um, is there a beer where you would say, this is really our masterpiece uh, and we're still brewing that one? Well, we, we, we still brew the, the beer that we debuted with eight years ago, which is Rock and Roller. Okay. Uh, this is an American pale ale, uh, a very, very classic approach to, to a pale ale. So not a hazy pale ale. We got hazy pale ales too now, but uh, Rock and Roller is, is one of our best sellers. The classic beers run well too. Uh, but I think the last years, the... Most of our reputation is in saisons and barrel age saisons. And one thing, you mentioned the labels uh, that the people like. One thing I always remember, and many of my friends, even though they haven't tried a Kingpin beer, is that there's a Polish brewery with the pigs on the label. So what's, what's the <laughs> secret behind those pigs? How, how did you come to the idea uh, to put those uh, funny pigs on the label? Yeah, and it's no secret okay. at all. It was... Um, uh, when we were preparing for our launch uh, eight years ago, we were looking for. We we always wanted like to have uh, some kind of persona on our labels, and we were looking for an image that could differentiate us somehow. And then and someone, one of the uh, 
actually one of the illustrators that we worked in the beginning eight years ago came up with the idea of pig okay. and, and, and in the beginning it was like what pig and he was like yeah why not just because yeah. no one no one uh, associates beer with with pig with the image of pig you know so uh, so yeah in the very beginning it was more more like really really pig style uh, images now now we we, we kind of relate to this uh, in all our most of our labels those illustrated ones at least there's always a pig nose yeah. on on, on, yeah, on our exactly. labels which is which is kind of a trademark and you mentioned that you started with four colleagues uh, when you founded Kingpin. Um, what was your, your background uh, back in the time? Uh, have you been in the beer industry before or uh, have you been home brewers? Or what was your personal approach uh, to, to brew beer? No, uh, I was not. That's, that's uh, partly why we started as, as four persons. Um, and uh, our brewer in the beginning was uh, Michał Kopik, yeah. guy that, that you also know very well. Um, so uh, he was our brewer for the first four years uh, and he was responsible for the beers and um, in the meantime I started uh, taking over uh, gradually and okay. uh, after, after he left uh, he decided to, to do his own thing uh, and uh, I took over completely. So you 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 started um, not as a home brewer? You no, 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 no. I wasn't home brewing before to be honest. Uh, I was always um, uh, a beer lover, okay. and I was I was always um, very close to beer business uh, business stuff. But I wasn't home brewing now. And what I saw, which might be most interesting for our viewers, is that you start exporting uh, your beers to to Germany now. So there are several online stores where you can buy Kingpin beers uh, in Germany. But in general. Um, uh, when, when you look on the Europe uh, map of Europe, uh, to which countries do you export your beers? Uh, that changed uh, during the years. We had uh, a couple of years ago. We had a lot of exports to France, for instance. Now, okay. now the, the the direction dried out a little bit, but uh, we were always kind of present on on German market. And, and actually, yeah, quite recently we are we are delivering quite a lot to. Uh, to online stores because yeah. probably due to the pandemic they got more momentum and uh, and there is more and more uh, e-commerce in beer business too. We do some sales to um, to countries close to Poland, uh, Slovakia, Lithuania. Uh, we do some sales to Scandinavia, uh, especially Norway. Um, we do some uh, some sales to the Netherlands and Belgium. So different election. We had some sales to Spain in the past, yeah. but recently yeah. also it dried out. So uh, but I would it's, I would say we try to be present on foreign markets, but uh, Polish market is our main concern. But still, do you see a demand uh, growing in Europe for, for Polish beers? Because when I started uh, discovering Polish beer, I barely knew nothing about the, the Polish beer scene. And I got invited to the Wrocław Beer Festival. And I was super surprised how how vibrant the, the Polish, uh, even commercial and home brewing scene was. And uh, we're just uh, across the border and we simply do, don't know nothing about this scene. And uh, we tend to buy... Um, expensive beers from from the US with shitloads of hops in there but it's some some kilometers away it's just in Poland they have really really <laughs> crazy stuff um, they have the modern styles they have fresh beer and to a reasonable price so um, I convinced lots of my friends um, looking for Polish breweries in general uh, because the quality is so high and nobody uh, seems to know about that and I think it's it's constantly growing do you have the, the same impression yes and and I think you named all the arguments for yeah. it like uh, uh, the quality is there, uh, the variety is there, like uh, probably everything you could imagine is brewed in Poland to some extent. Some styles more, some styles less, but if you look good enough you, you can find everything. You can find sour brews, you can find barrel aged beers, strong beers. Uh, uh, session beers and uh, even uh, don't forget the Baltic porters. Yes, yeah. Baltic it's porters, of course. Wild beers recently also. So, so the variety is uh, is, is is there and and of course the the price also yeah. that price space uh, its role too. Uh, yeah. So um, I think I think uh, Poland is a very interesting uh, market for craft brewing and and it's been for a couple of years because you know the 
Polish consumer, Polish beer consumer is very open to new stuff and is even demanding new stuff. So that pushes breweries to, to come with the new stuff all the time, with new styles, with new beers. And at the same time, it, it pushes breweries to be better and better. So the quality is really there. And uh, all I can say is, is try Polish beers, uh, not only Baltic porters no. uh, and Grodziske, but also try the new wave stuff, the hoppy stuff. It's, uh, it's definitely fresher than those from the States. and. <laughs> yeah, Marek, thank you very much uh, for joining me here. We have a lot of judging to, to do uh, after our interview. Then if you are interested in beers from Brova Kingpin, ask your local online dealer, look in the Polish uh, online stores, uh, and if they don't have Kingpin, uh, ask them to, to get it for you because it's really worth, they're really doing good beers. And Marek, thank you very much. And Thanks, see you uh, maybe in Poland next time uh, for a good beer. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Okay, Thanks. cheers. Cheers, bye.